Here's your Van Doren sampler. I'm gonna show you how to maintain and repair it. Uh, as you can see, this one's a little beat up. It's had a whole summer's worth of use on it. A uh, couple things that commonly wear out. Uh, if you use this with any uh, for any length of time, you'll notice that this rope count frays quite often, so you wanna pay attention to that. Uh, also, these rubber straps in the middle here, they wear out, so when you pull it up, out of the water it tends to leak water all over the place so I'll show you how to replace this uh, inner tubing uh, I'll also show you, you know, how to replace this uh, rubber drain hose and also one of the little cables that hold the trap doors down so I guess uh, uh, another thing that tends to wear out uh, from time to time is these trip plates right here are aluminum and they bend and it makes for a not quite as easy operation of the doors and everything so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to replace this uh, metal trip plate or strike plate um, first thing you do is just take the rope out you gotta unscrew this little bolt right here not. So you take your uh, your pliers here, and these pins are actually threaded in. Now, when I screw these in, they don't have to be as tight as what they were as they came from the factory. I found it's uh, easiest if you thread this rope through the bolt first. You'll have to take, uh, you can either use a little pliers or in this case I'll just use a screwdriver to pop that out. And then with this top bolt it should screw right Right down into there again. And again, just snug it up. Place a knot. And that's how you replace the strike plate. Uh, pretty easy to do and it saves you a little hassle. The uh, next thing that we'll replace is uh, we'll just use this, uh, replace this rubber hose. Uh, in the repair kit that comes with it, that comes with a part, uh, a nipple. I haven't, I don't replace these very often. Uh, if you see it's worn or cracked or damaged, I'd recommend that you replace it. So I'll just take the knife. Get that off. The new one. You can see it's on there. Uh, the replacement kit, the replacement parts kit, also comes with the, a new clamp. These clamps do wear out over the course of time. That just kind of sleds threads on there like so. Now I'm going to show you how to replace the rubber tubing in the middle. Uh, as you know, as you've lifted up the water sampler from the water a few times it tends to leak when when this rubber hose wears out so in order to do it I just take my pliers hold on to this nut right here and screw off the end like so when you pull it apart just kind of take a look at your uh, rubber washers just to make sure they're still in good shape. Let's take the whole thing out. Just unscrew it. And the same thing with the other side. This one was actually just finger tight here. So. 
This one came out. Otherwise, it comes with the new ones. So, uh, I like to, when I get this ready to uh, put back in the Van Dorn and just reassemble it, I do one side first. get this little plug that's inside the rubber pushed up inside this uh, coupler here. At least enough till you get the threads on for the nut. And it's usually a pretty good struggle. Let's see that. Just kind of screw it right down. Twist it up. You can see. It'll work now. To replace the cables, uh, once in a while these cable locks uh, come undone. Uh, I'll demonstrate to you here how to do that. Uh, you, can just, you can just take a snips, snip off. Snip off these if they're not already broken. A lot of times they'll break themselves in the field. Then uh, what you want to do is you want to take these little uh, plastic beads off and string them. Slide this in. Slide on a little stopper, and then all you'll do is you'll just smash this down with the pliers, and that'll be enough to you know, basically just smash it down as hard as you can. And that is how you. Uh, Rebuild your Van Dorn. I'm going to show you how to make uh, one of the re a replacement tube for the middle. Uh, the first thing I do is I cut it to get the approximate uh, length. Now the next thing we will we, we'll want to do is basically cut the old one apart because we want to reuse a few of the parts. So we want to cut on the end be able to pull this out pull the parts out this next part can be a little tricky. You have to try to get this hose into uh, this nut here. A lot of times I like try to get it started with a screwdriver. It takes a considerable amount of twisting and finagling, but it will go in. So you, once you get the one side on, 
I'm going to do it, and it worked pretty good last time. set with the two nuts onto the end. Uh, the next thing you'll want to do is you'll feed the string down through. Feed the string through the little plastic plug. Uh, the next thing, so you have your strings on there all the way through. I found it uh, works best if you just add a little bit of water just to lubricate the plugs. You know, and at times you'll use uh, a pliers or a screwdriver, kind of whatever you can do to get it so it's in place. Do the same. We almost have it here. There. there and then when now so you have a replacement uh, for when your other uh, rubber tubing stretches out on you so reminders uh, be sure and you should be checking this from time to time when you're out sampling uh, just make sure these hose clamps stay tight. I have had them loosen up out in the field before. So let's double check those and you should be good to go.